Hey everybody, welcome back. It's another beautiful day and it's, um, the weather is very beautiful. It's about 65 degrees and I know I'm wearing a heavy coat, but it's just me, I'm always cold. And I am drinking out of my, okay, another shameless self-promotion, my wife unit cup. It's a little bit different than what we have online, but it has the flowers like the ones on the website. And let me show you what um, other cups we have. We have this nice coffee cup, just like Ray's, but with the wife unit. And then this is the style that's on the website. So what are we working on over here today? Jumping out this fuel pump thing. <laughs> I caught Safety. everyone off guard. Yeah, I know. We're like, oh, what? We're, 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 oh, she wants me to do something. What? Yeah, what? I'm, I'm, I'm my, my own I business over you. here being all quiet. <laughs> what do you what want? Do you like show up you're like do i start like, you Poof, here i am what's going on i'm like oh what are we doing it's just a warning well you you approach so quietly and I nobody know. knows what's going on oh you're so but nice we, we i like you. your gloves nice colors they're um, orange <clears throat> yeah it's bright so i can see my fingers i have a really cool infinity i like this car it's shiny infinity infinity to infinity and beyond Yay. and um aaron is with us Hey Rod, he's the power stroker. I don't know where he he's went. The master stroker. Uh huh. We've got a master power stroker in the house. Let's see. I don't see him, but our lot is full. Look at this. This is just wonderful. Well, there's two of our cars, but all these, all the rest of them. We were. Oh, there he comes. There he is. It's a big truck. It's a nice truck. But yeah, he's been having a lot of work this week with us and I think six vehicles have come in that are all local so he's uh, he's here again with us he was here last month working on a lot of vehicles and he might be here in March too we'll see but yeah, he's, he's keeping busy oh man this is a tall truck I think my head goes up to the lights yeah, look how tall that is. <laughs> Huge. The tires, too. All right, let's go see what Aaron's going to be doing to this truck. If I can find him. Hey, what are you doing? We need to get some tools. All right. I'm in an environment where my tools are not, so I have to go on a search and rescue. I think Ray has plenty. On the way to Publix, picking up food for the guys. It's their favorite spot. Pub subs, especially when Aaron's in town, that's his favorite. Public subs and chicken tenders, pretty good. All right, I want something cold and crisp, and I think the salads look really good. Ooh, blue cheese crumbles. I know some people don't like that, but this is pretty tasty. And some yummy chips. These are awesome chips. I don't know if you've ever had them, but they're voodoo, Jack voodoo style. Oh, here we go. And make sure to always be courteous. Oh, check it out. Under $3. What are your gas prices are around the country or even around the world? I'm curious. Uh oh, people are turning around. I think this train's been here for a while. Oh, there's our Cintas guy, right on time. While I was at Publix, I picked up some mozzarella cheese and ricotta because tonight I'm going to be making some crock pot manicotti. It's super cheesy, super creamy, and the sauce, it when it melts together with everything, it's a perfect taste and the noodles aren't too soggy. All right, 
right, it's moving. How's the sandwich? Mint. Mint. How are the tenders? Awesome. <laughs> all right, I'll let you guys eat. <laughs> I have all my ingredients here to make that penne pasta in the crock pot. Uh, after you combine all the ingredients and put it together, you put it in the crock pot for two hours on high and it comes out amazing. Uh, when you, I don't have any penne pasta, so I'm just using this type of pasta. I don't think it matters. It has some sort of texture to it. So the cheese and the sauce can go all inside of the pasta. Um, two jars of marinara sauce or pasta sauce, mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce, two eggs, grated Parmesan cheese, and the ricotta cheese. Now I'm not one to measure exactly what the recipe says. I kind of eyeball it. Um, I know we need two eggs and some basil. And it calls for about 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. Uh, this is... What is this, 32 ounces? So I'd say about half of this, and I just eyeball it. Just scoop it in and eyeball it. Let's see, one, two. I'd say we're almost halfway there. And this is kind of like, um, this is kind of like making a lasagna with the layers. You layer the sauce, the cheese mixture, the noodles and do that about three times and then you pour sauce over the top so it just kind of um, soaks in. I'd say that's about half. Once that's all mixed together, I'm gonna pour all my pasta sauce into one bowl over here. Oh, I think I might need a bigger bowl. I think it'll be okay. I'll make sure to get all that sauce out. Mix that all together. All right, it says to grease the crock pot, so I'm going to cheat and be easy again and use my Pam because that will grease it and it's easier than trying to grease it with one hand. Oh, I think that's good. There we go. Like Ray says, another! And we'll add some of the sauce to the bottom of the pot. It says about two and a half cups, but I'm gonna eyeball it again. There, that should be a good layer. Spread it around. Now let's add one third of this bag of pasta. Kind of cover. Oop, that's about it. And spread it around. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Spread it around a little bit. Kind of even it out. And of course our next layer is going to be the ricotta cheese mixture. Just dot Dot it on in all over the place. And once about one third of this bowl is in here, that should be enough because we're gonna do three layers. There we go. Just spread it on. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna all melt together. After that, we're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top of that, and then start our layering once again. Sauce. And spread it. Noodles. ricotta mixture. If it doesn't have to be perfect, it's all gonna cook together and get all over the place. And sprinkle of the cheese, Parmesan cheese. And our last layer. You know what? It'll be easier if I just pour the rest of this in. not the rest of it because we're going to put a little bit more on the very top. Spread that around. Mm 
I hope everyone's hungry because this is a lot of food. And the rest of our noodles. There we go. I don't know how Ray works one-handed. This is impossible. It's so hard to even cook one-handed, let alone fix vehicles. Goodness gracious. All right, spread it around one last time. That looks pretty good. I think I wanna get just the edges where the pasta is dry. We wanna get those off of the edge of the uh, crock pot just so it doesn't get too crispy and too dried out. There we go, perfect. And some more Parmesan cheese. It's been cooking for about one hour now on high, and it's looking really, really tasty. Let's see if we could peek in. And um, I know the kids are getting hungry. We have one hour to go, oh my goodness. So let's see what time is it. Usually I have dinner done around 6.30. I got a little bit of a late start, but it'll be okay because it'll be all worth it. And let's not forget some garlic breadsticks to complement the lovely dinner. Let's put it on for seven minutes. In about two hours. So let's sprinkle some of this nice yummy cheese on top. There we go. I think I'll just put the whole thing on there. Looks good. Kids screaming, people talking, having fun. We're having a good night. We're playing and we're super hungry. Yes. Got it. Yes. Now, let's put this lid back on and we'll let it cook for about five more minutes so it melts. Three, two, one. Ding! If you could only smell this, all that garlic. Now let's check the crock pot. See if it's melted all the way. Oh, that looks so good. Where is my spoon? Oh yeah. Look at that. I think that looks pretty good. Can't wait to try it. The moment of truth. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Well, thanks again for watching everybody and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, bye. Jack. Ooh. This might get a five-star review in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs>